Okay, hello. Trying to see if I'm actually live, because you never know. Sorry, I'm sleepy. Not yet. All right, so right now we are in my Forsaken because this is my entry for the DDA contest. It was also an entry for Orc Party, but I figured it's got a lot of foreign elements, so why not, right? Uh, let me make sure that everything that needs to be turned off, oh shit, is turned off. So we've got and chickens and pumpkins and woodcutter and fishies and little houses where the labor live. Um, cheese. And then we've got cow and more in here. Now, keep in mind too that if you don't have EHT, you see something mildly different. You don't see the doors like that. They look like they're wide open, but the, the build still works. It's just not as uh, slick, I guess. Whatever. You can't normally go back here. I'm just ready around. Because I can. Um, and you wouldn't see chickens. You'd just see a chicken coop with no chickens because I used up all my pet slots. It's very sad. All right, so I wanna look at both. Oh, lots of follows. Um, when we go to the next house, we'll, we'll do some sending shit out if I have any on me. I should have some stuff in my bank. All right, so these are the contest entries for farms for DDA's contest. So I haven't looked at these. Um, I don't know what they are yet. So I'm going to be seeing them for the first time, probably all of them for the first time. But you never know because there's always, sometimes people like me reuse things. Um, so that, you, you know, it's like, it sucks when you can't reuse a dress. It's a similar thing. So, Especially if it's for like a different guild. I, I don't see the harm. But we have Blaceries. And Jigger Meadow. Um, there are contests coming up. There's one more I have to add. Hold on. Ongoing contests. Uh, we have... Today, okay, so let's let's fix this because this has yes yesterday's stuff in it. Um, we have August. Whoa. All right, I'll have to do more detail work after. But uh, here's the first three, uh, and then there's there's also now one for Aetherius or excuse me, Tamriel Homes on PCEU. Hey, Kick Joe. And then uh, there is a new one for ETU, which is actually kind of surprising to me because ETU doesn't seem like much of a really into housing, but apparently, you know, they're doing it. Uh, I'm trying to find the... The theme for the Summer Decorating Challenge will be Enchanted Summer. Uh, sign up on Discord with e if you're in ETU, and you must complete your decoration by August 25th. Uh, so let's do August 25th, Enchanted Summer. All right, seems to be that those are the only two requirements. So I'll add those to the contest list. All right, ETU contest for members only. 
August 25th, Enchanted Summer. There you go. All right. So, here we are. Oh, gosh. My arm hurts and I'm hot. It's really hot out. So, I'm... Okay. A little overheated. But, here we go. We've got Ballet Cerise Enchant... Uh, excuse me. I'm thinking about other things, but... Hello there. Um, not Enchanted. Hold on, I gotta grab some fish. Some books. We send in things to people. All this business to take care of. Alright, we've got a fishy going to El Sonso Travis. Maybe I said that to them yesterday. I... It seems like it. So let's do pewter person. That may not be a real... No, didn't think so. Sir Clancelot. That one worked. Cool. Alright. So this is Belay Cyrie's farm. Which we may have seen. I'm not sure. But it does seem vaguely familiar. Um, it's always hard to tell. For me. I like Belisari. She's got a really, uh, like, floral type style. Hey, Marley. Everything went off mostly without a hitch yesterday, except for my, my uh, ESO crashed right before Jay Hart was supposed to visit my train set. Good genius. And so what happens is when you leave a house, when things... Wow, that's a gorgeous farm. When you leave a house, when you have items linked, unfortunately, I left the house because I crashed, um, it jacks up the items. So I had to rebuild my train, not the whole set, but the train, uh, hey, lady, uh, as fast as possible. And he was on his way, and I had to rebuild the train. So it looked perfect on my screen, but when I looked at it on his screen, one of the cars was jacked up and i don't know why it worked fine on my screen and looked stupid on his so i'm really kind of concerned about that because what does that mean for for all contests like what if you think you have something in a certain position and you don't right i mean it, uh, granted this was a weird circumstance i crashed and i had a linked item but I really wonder, like, is that a thing that happens? You know what I mean? Like, I'm really concerned about that. So, my train didn't look as good as I wanted it to. It wanted it to because I couldn't fix it because it looked different on his screen than mine. Um, but all in all, he got he got the point, and that was what was important. And he figured out what everything was meant to be. Oh, she even crafted a house from scratch. Hello, peace, wibby, 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 wibby. You're the cutest little name. Wibby. So, yeah. That didn't work out as well as I wanted it to, but overall, I think I was pretty happy with it. I love when people include, uh... What's up with that, Marley? Like, I'm kind of really concerned. Like, did it look the same on your screen? as his or do you think that it was just it moved for both of you because i've seen the, it move for both of us i've never seen it move for one person and not the other before that's new for me Anything. i'm really kind of concerned about that and scared a little bit about what that means like, what if, what have people been seeing? Do they think I'm, like, a stupid ass because I don't know how to, like, put things down right? There's something about this that makes the wood look... Maybe it's because of the walls she used? The wood looks nice. Yeah, see, I've seen that before. I had not seen what happened to me before, which is... I don't get it. This is lovely. One hell of a farmhouse, though, I'll tell you that. I don't know. I was just, I'm gonna 
see about, hey, Meldrin, I'm going to see about talking to Cardi and letting him know that, that that's what happened. Um, because even if it's, I feel like he should know. I know, I don't think it has anything to do with EHT. Oh, thanks for the follow. Felice Degex. Um, but, but who knows, right? Maybe it did, but I, I wasn't even using EHT in that situation. So I used the base game link. <clears throat> Thanks. He did seem pretty, pretty impressed with it. Uh, I, I hope he, he did seem to get it and see, that was the most important thing. I really wanted him to understand what he was looking at. The only thing I was kind of surprised about was. It re he really didn't quite get <clears throat> solitude. He didn't see the arch. And it took him seeing this, the Harrowstone, Harrowstorm to kind of get what that was. And I thought it was like the most obvious landmark, but apparently I'm wrong. But that's, that's like nitpicky. I, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I feel like that, that Ballet Siri probably built this for herself as a passion project and not a contest, but it is a farm and she could submit it at some farm. Yeah, I don't get it. I was a little, I never understand what he, what he sees and doesn't see. I never understand his attraction to certain things. Oh, he saw the potato. The potato was pretty obvious. I was glad he realized it was Bardow um, and not just a, you know, a, an indulgent pers personal thing. So that was good. I do, I do like the farm. I think the farm is especially set up beautifully here. So this is the DDA contests today, and then we're gonna hit up both DDA contest stuff, and uh, we're gonna also look at, I think, Hashi -e? floating potato. No, it's over Vivek Bardow. It's the big rock. We're going to also look at, we're going to intersperse some of the Zoss contest things. So this is Hashi's Cold Harbor, which was their entry, and they, they said I could look at it. Although you, oh, I get what you're saying, that people who play in, in Cyrodiil are potatoes. Trust me, people who are potatoes play elsewhere too, including in elsewhere, but you get the point. So this is uh, their Cold Harbor. I believe this is pretty obviously their vamp entry. Um, I don't know how she, they're in some of the same discords as me, but I don't know them personally. That's new. I don't think I've ever seen anyone sync that particular light down. I think it looks good. That's a really lovely garden. You know, this is a good trick. <laughs> Did you see Kick? Did you see that uh, that Hammy was on this morning? He never went to sleep. I got up at like seven to uh, get my stuff ready for the day. And he was still on. Um, so there's, here's a trick that you can do in dark spaces, however you make your dark space. Maybe it's your house, maybe it's, it's with this kind of Daedric rock, who knows, whatever way. If you use uh, fabricant trees like this, if you light them up, they make this really fascinating kind of effect, like sparkly almost? I can't put my finger on it, but if you're gonna do a glowy area, it's something to keep in mind that it looks pretty cool if you use fabricant trees that way. So that's a nifty trick. Oh my goodness, this must be it. Oh wow. I would be very proud of this. Wow, look at all of this. This is beautiful. No joke. Okay, I gotta explore this whole thing. 
Yeah, you know, I think we're going to be seeing some phenomenal entries. So first of all, this is this is Cold Harbor. So they made this from scratch. This does not exist. They put in elsewhere floors, lots of vampiric furnishings, really smart choices on the busts. They added these gorgeous windows. Yeah, it is beautiful. Vampiric lights, the crystals, uh, antiquities. You know what? This guy should really enter this as a an unique antiquity entry for J Hart. And I, I think I'm going to contact them and tell them that they should do that guy or girl, whoever they are, because I think they're, that's the only antiquity. And if not, they can always remove one. This is not a farm. I, I said I was splitting it up to because I know a lot of people are just watching only to see the Zoss stuff. So I'm going to I'm going to intersperse. I'm sorry, Marley. I, I am a little confusing with that. Uh, so we've got uh, vampire meals. That's the uh, the achievement item for the blood blood bowl for May, mid year mayhem, and of course, you know, it's supposed to be uh, what do they call it? Red velvet, but it's come on, that's blood. Let's not kid around. They they went for the blood theme because everything is vampiric. Spideys. Bowl, more bowls of blood. What are you doing, Azabi? Is it really? I'm sorry. I hadn't noticed. So those are the thrones. They just sunk them into the walls as decor. Um, Alinori furnishings mixed with... Okay, I really like the red and the green um, hedges and ivy. There's so much going on in here. It's really hard to to parse it all. I'm sorry, I'll stop looking up, but I just want to make sure I caught everything uh, up there first. All right. Good choice on the trophies as well. I mean, everything is really well selected. I told, oh look, they put, oh, I bet you couldn't even see this in the screenshot that they put those shards, spell scarf shards underneath. So I guess they have multiple antiquities, but, uh, and it creates a lightning effect, which I love. It's a sh damn shame though, that they didn't, that I don't think that was probably visible. These things, those are the achievement, uh, hay things from, from uh, Solitude. If you finish the quest line, you can get these. These are, um, what are they called from the Harrow Storms? They're the, the sticky things from the Harrow Storms. I don't remember what they're called, but they're a replica of that. And these are the soul thingies, the things they hold your soul in. It's a weird quest line. If you do witch totems, is that kick? Okay, so they're witch totems. Uh, yeah, it's a really, really nifty design. You know, honestly, all these little touches that you probably couldn't see in the screenshot. And I, I feel bad about that because, you know, we were looking at Swankery's yesterday and clearly Swankery's had additional, you know, she did the interior uh, entirely. So it's like a lot of people's... And when I went to... Uh, not just swingeries, but oh, Begushi's. When you got up close to what she actually did, the detail was fucking amazing. Excuse my language, but it was really good job, Hashi. I'm glad you let me come. The lighting is fantastic. Look at that purple red. You've made such a a great screenshot here. You really have, and the house is great without even just being a screenshot. It's an, it's truly spectacular. Don't take it down. Don't take it down. I like it. I would be sad if you took it down. All right, the next farm. Marley Bears, Ald Velothi. Have I seen your Ald Velothi? We'll see. We'll go anyway, but 
I was just curious if I've seen it. Nope, I haven't. Oh, wait, crap, that's under Marley Bear Love. <laughs> Your old name. Marley Bear of Lothy. Really good job. I'm so happy. Oh, look, they put that, that, that Azure thing in there too. They had those Azure waves from the Azure light we got. The one that makes it look like you're underwater. Lots of lighting tricks going on in that. Drugs have been consumed. Pleased. There will be more, but I'm not going to make Marley wait for me. Oh my goodness, Marley! You made a friggin' tractor! Holy shit! I gotta write down who's I visited. This is amazing! Look at the smoke and the pottery wheels! Oh my god, the creativity! Marley, you're getting amazing! Like, every time I see something new from you, I'm shocked at how much you... I mean, I thought you hit the max already, and then you get better. It's fucking amazing. Really good cube farm. Look at all the little rows. Oh, that's adorable. I never thought to do that with the new onions. Oh, I'm going back. I'm going to go sit in it. The new onions look really good like that. All right, I'm, I'm going back. Oh, and you made a melon patch. Well, that's so smart with the little ivy. Ugh. Ah. I gotta get, I gotta get, figure out how to sit. I'm a dumbass, so did, sitting is hard for me. It, it gave me the option, but now it's like not. Did I do something wrong? I saw the option for like a second. Now it's being stupid. Not letting me. Oh, maybe it doesn't let me sit in it. Oh, well. Sorry. I don't... I think it's showing me the valve, not the... Not the chair. Sorry. There's a goat mowing your lawn, by the way. They're actually doing that in Wisconsin. They've hired three goats. Um, and they're going to use them as... On the other side? It's not letting me. I don't get the E. See? I only get the valve. It doesn't love me. Um, yeah, so they hired three goats as uh, to mow the lawns in of the state parks. <gasps> or the county parks. Check it out. Check out our chicken coop. So that's a better chip chicken coop than I did, for sure. Really cute. Yeah, that's cool. Just hop on it. I'm, I'm not good at sitting, but I'll, I'll try. All right, sit. My knees are going through. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too big. Too big. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> You've made it like modern with a TV. How cute is that? And a great cobble for a couch. Oh, my gosh. Man, this is adorable. Hey, sea unicorns. And a kitchen. Mmm, pretty. They're so, you know, this spot is such a pain in the ass. Palimpsest, hi. Um, this par part is such a pain in the ass because, you know, what do you do with it? It's, it's this weirdly shaped bit. It doesn't look like it belongs. Oh, 
Oh, wow, that's really organized. That's some nice cabinet work. I'm gonna take a screenie of that. <laughs> yeah, it's probably cheap to make too, comparatively. Uh, really nice cabinetry. And I mean, it's like a root cellar, isn't it? You know, I mean, that's where you would keep them. We're looking at farms and we're looking, we're interspersing here and there. Ooh. Different uh, Zoss entries. And I'm happy to see any NA Zoss entries. Uh, I probably won't get to EU today. I apologize for that. Wow, nice library. Uh, but I'm happy to go tomorrow. We'll make tomorrow about EU. <gasps> Look at the swing! Oh, that's probably even adorable at night because the lighting. So cute. Man, that's really well done. I, I think this is adorable. All right, I think Ithilis is on the other server. So there's that one we can't go to. Uh, Seleuthian, I'm not sure if Seleuthian's on our server or not, but their cold harbor I think is open for. Her. Ow, moon sugar. I think they might be on you. Yeah, they're on you. Or they don't want me there. One or the other. Okay, so let's go to the next farm real quick. Bethany, Catherine, moon sugar. So we're, we're doing some moon sugars today. I guess they make sense. I think I'm spelling that wrong, though. Oh, it didn't. Okay. If any of you have a... Uh, I did spell it wrong. I'm a moron. Beth. Uh, me, Catherine. There we go. Uh, if any of you have ones you've entered for the Zoss contest on NA, please let me know. I'll go visit. I'll ooh and ah. Trust me, I won't pick on you. Also, Wednesday morning's primary? Oh my god. I sent her a message asking her if I could visit it because holy shit, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I can show you Les Lax's uh, Lakeside Manor. I know, she, I know Les Lux doesn't care about that if I go. And that's their Nordic entry, but it has a lot of effects, but it, they took them out for the screenshot. Okay, so this is super detailed. Uh, shouldn't surprise me for Bethany Catherine, though. She's, she's really good at that kind of thing. I don't even know what's going on in here. We've got almost like a little trailer on... Um, but not? Yeah, they did a... Oh, it's a shop. Okay, it's a shop. Look at the um, the way that Bethany does clutter. Things on angles, looking natural, you know, stuff leaning up against a wall. She made a little house here. This is great hand laid those stairs. Piggy with apples that fell out. That's something you can steal, that idea. When you put the apple basket down anywhere, put a couple apples having spilled out. There's a goat back there. Chickens. More stairs she, she did by hand, pretty obviously. The crown store blue thingies. Too. Cold Harbor? Yeah. There's a lot you can do with Cold Harbor. Um, I've seen, like, the, everything from aquariums to towers to, to castles to the Death Star. Whoa! Is that part of a mill? That looks like it's part of a mill. Neat. Fishing. Um, just Daedric builds in in that house. I've seen all sorts of things in Cold Harbor. I mean, it's a playground. That's what it's for. Just do what you want. Ca uh, ca chapel, I guess. You know the 
those vampire curtains look really good in a lot of situations. I'm glad that they're not just overwhelmingly vampy. Although, you know, it would really suck to go to church when it rained. And this is a tropical climate, so that's got to happen. I think I saw apples. Yeah, there's an apple tree. So you can fake an apple tree by just sticking apples on it. Because there is no actual apple tree in the game. Uh, the barn. Cool. You've got... Um, did she put in? Yeah, she put money in there. It's probably a register. <clears throat> the ginger kitty. I wonder if it's an inn. It's just a bar. Thanks for the follow. Skywalker. I got a cute little bedroom. Almost... It's got to be for a kid, though, because it's got the little moppet on it. Maybe both of them are for kids, or it's just a nice little touch. Let's see if I can send you something, or if it's going to give me issues. Nope, gave me issues. So, handmade. Just like Cold Harbor, this is a, a complete sandbox, so you can do whatever you want with it. Lots of little houses. These are like fake houses, like houses that are, that don't have, have interiors, but they're really adorable. I love when people put the dead chicken next to chicken or other meat. <coughs> it cracks me up. Oh, you're on PS4. I'm sorry. I can't send you anything then. I don't have any gifts on PS4. I suck. Why does, didn't I just go in there? I don't recall the flowers though. I just fell off the stairs because I'm a moron. I must have missed the flowers. She used the, the trellis flowers from the uh, Mara's, no, Debella's set. So let's see, is there a farm farm in the back or is this it? I think that's it. So she made a little farm village, I guess. Really cute. And now I'm in the back part where I probably shouldn't be. She's got an orchard. She's got animals. She's got hay to feed said animals. So this must be like more of a, a, a livestock farm than a growing things farm except for hay. Bees. I think that's it. All right, moving on. All right, the next one in the farms is Lady Pan's Coven. And then I'll try to find us a, another Zoss entry. I know a couple of people asked me, said to me I could look at them. Okay, Going, right, moving right along, trying to. Okay, whoa, this is exercised? Holy crow. No effects. So, ooh, these are lizard hanging out. So, I don't know if you know this, but you can build up really high in, in exercised, and also you can give yourself a beachside view. But this is, this is cool. So those plants will eat you, or at very least, it will eat bugs. And we've got a butterfly bush and lots of tropical... Uh, this must be a nursery. I think this is a nursery where they're growing different flowers in each section. Yeah, that, I think that's what she's doing here. Yeah, you can see these are the drier items. They flipped a, 
probably elsewhere rock upside down to make it look like dirt. And then the red stuff over here, there's a, there's a hopping frog there. I, I don't have that hopping frog. I kind of wish I had it. A water area for that. Growing roses over here. This all makes a lot of sense. And this is, I guess, the where you can use it for botany. Or really anything. There's lots of crafting stuff. Yeah, it's definitely... And then, you know, with the second floor, they've added trees up here. Okay, this makes sense. So this is the tree growing area. Little arch over here. This is beautiful. What a beautiful nursery. Wow, that's gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna take you to Les Lax's, which is their entry. I don't know exactly where Les Lax took the picture from. I know where the house is, um, but I don't know where in the house they took the picture because it's a really kind of, you'll get it when you see it, you'll realize what it is, it's kind of amazing. Okay. If you played Skyrim, you will recognize that this Pariahs has been turned into a lakeside manor. Now, I just want to point out, there are going to be effects in this, but Les Sox did not use the effects in her screenshot. She turned them off, which is something you can do. But once you get inside, you'll start to recognize that everything is pretty much identical to the interior of, remember the small room you get first? And then you get this part. Like she even made the little, uh, what are they called? Dream catcher type dealies. She reproduced where the bag is. I mean, it's everything. This is all, now over here, or where the plants are, remember? So she's got all the plants over here. She used orc beds, I think, for the wood, for the dirt. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's beautiful. It's an exact replica in my opinion. Uh, she did such a phenomenal job. I loved this house. I was such a fan of this house. Now to keep it within 700, she couldn't do the whole house, but here's the library portion. Remember the, the circular library? She's got the circular library in there. Yeah, it's really impressive. And then she did a second floor. I don't know if she included it or not, but there's where the kids' rooms are. Remember? Kids' rooms. And then over here is just that weird corner for, for whatever, you know. And then over here are the other rooms. And of course, she had to cut it off because you can't, you couldn't have the whole thing, you know, exact because of the item limits. But it's really well done. I don't know where she took the picture from. Or they. I'm sorry, I'm not sure what Les Lox is a she. They took the picture from. So all I can say is this is, this is amazing, right? <clears throat> all right, back to farms. We'll, we'll, we'll intersperse as best I can. All right, farms. DDA. Uh, Charolais moon sugar. Oh, another moon sugar. I don't usually visit this many moon sugars on a single day. It's a little much. A little over overkill for me. Oh my goodness! Thanks for the fall for the raid. Fourteen. Holy crow! That's a lot. Thank you, classic. Got to write that down. We are looking at, we were just looking at uh, Les Lex's reproduction of Lakeside Manor, you know, the one that's in Skyrim. And now we're looking at a farm 
but we're going to go back to looking at more Zoth stuff as, as much as I can find it. So if anybody in your group who just raided has a house they submitted to Zoth for the Zoth contest, including you, Caleb, I would love it to tour it uh, on stream and tell you how amazing it is because I am really looking forward to seeing as many as I can because I know people outdid themselves with this contest. I mean, there's some unbelievable entries and I'm looking forward to seeing them all. But, oh my goodness, look at this. I don't even know. 40 hours, 40 hours and you have that many followers? Good Lord, fantastic job. You're impressive. In an in room, where are you? I will, I will. Sometimes it's fun to go see an in room with a bed in a box. <laughs> PCNA or EU or whatever. I'm doing NA today. Um, but I will be doing EU tomorrow. I will focus entirely on EU tomorrow because I, I have not given it the love it needs. Okay, look at the ponies. Ponies! So this is a farm entry for uh, Design Design Divine Design Alliance. It's a contest that they're holding right now for farms. And so we're looking at a couple of these. Um, <clears throat> moon triggers are hard for me because they're so big. But we've got, you know, over there we have moon sugar growing. Check out the apples. She even put fallen apples. So she's got the basket. She's got fallen apples. She's got the apple trees. Isn't that adorable? And a pig eating the apples. Piggy, you're going to be in trouble. The green stuff. These are plants. These are plants they sold at the Lux vendor a while back. Um... Hold on, I'll send you one sea unicorns. If you're on NA, I forget. I'll send you a green plant. I have one extra. I have a lot of extra, actually. It has a light. It's got a green light to it. So this is a mill right under the wind mill. So that makes a lot of sense. Oh, this is one of those new solitude items that make a lot of sense, a pitchfork. You can make it for cheap or you can buy it. Oh, and Marley Bear said she wanted to do a vineyard, so here's a good way to do it. Use uh, basically like the Argonian ones. They do. They will. The Argonian um, trellises, and you put ivy on them, and then you stick grapes on them. I know. I know. It's kind of amazing, but that would be <laughs> how you do it. <laughs> Who could imagine? <laughs> ivy and then grapes. <laughs> Just ignore me. Oh, she's got a little scarecrow. Oh, look at how adorable that is. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I guess you make a scarecrow with whatever you want. Oh my gosh. I don't really know farm equipment all that well, but I know some of them because I live in Wisconsin now. Yeah, the mushroom hat's adorable. She put beets. She's making vinegar or canning or fermenting or something here. I've never seen anyone actually put anything in those before. But it's pretty obvious she's making some sort of canning or... You see what I mean? It's, it's, that's pretty unique. I've never seen anyone do that. And then... She's gathered a bunch of lettuce. And she's growing stuff in Nern. Yeah, maybe infused oil. I hadn't thought of that. That's entirely possible. It could be a lot of things, honestly. But I do think it's that. And then I always think of these as pineapples. And sinking them down like this looks like pineapples. But I don't know that they actually are. I'm sort of just making uh, an assumption. And then uh, we got we have to go dancing in the 
in the wine thing. Oh, look, she made, she used an effect to make it purple. She added purple water to it. She only has seven effects in here, so she didn't go overboard with the effects or anything. She's packing stuff for shipping. Has a little label right on it. That's just a contract, by the way. And she's painting the jars she's making. Which she's making, and she's got the tools. And I bet she has a pottery wheel. She does. That kitty is fascinated with the pottery wheel. And here's the one she broke. Look at that. She broke some and she put them aside. The creativity is awesome. This is a kiln. This is actually a kiln, too. So this is actually an exact proper use of that item from Merkmeyer. And this is like lumps of clay, I think. This is really, really creative. A well, and then what are we what are we growing here? We've got a stable. Oh, we're we're probably growing hay. It's ha just hasn't. It just hasn't all grown up yet. So I think that's her whole farm, and it's pretty damn impressive. I, did I go in the greenhouse? Or Yeah, I did. That's one hell of a great tropical farm. I don't know if you can go up to that statue or not. But maybe. Maybe we'll get a better view of everything. This is going to be hard. I'm going to have trouble choosing because there's a lot of really awesome stuff. Um, I think, let's look at, I'm sure that some people have it as an open house. But if they don't, <clears throat> we'll continue on with the farms. But I can show you more uh, entries if anyone has it, like, marked as such. A lot of people... Uh, have their things set wrong. Shocking, I know. Hello, Bay. All right. I don't think anyone has marked it as such, but I'm just double checking. Snooney, Eleanor Town, Crest Town House. All right, Kragenholm is really small, and they opened it today, so it's entirely possible Maroni Eds is a Zoss entry, but well, if it isn't, it isn't. Well, it's a quick house, though. Well, we're doing an interspersement of whatever people on uh, NAR did for their Zoss contest entries, and then interspersing with it DDA contest, which is due this weekend, or was due this weekend, and is now being judged. It's at farms. But, oh, this is beautiful. This could be an entry, but it's... Oh, look, they added a, a secret doorway in the spot that usually the coals go. And they built this pretty desk, and look at that fountain. It's the whole wall. That's beautiful. We have books and glowies. I like that they put the flowers in the mushroom. See, it's a very quick house, because it's a small house. But I don't think it's an entry. Oh my no, they're cooking the guar. Or he's cooking himself. Magic mushroom farm. It could be. Could be. Not sure. Poor little guar. I want to rescue him, but I can't. Alright, next. Toad Sticker 18's Lunar Champion. That is another farm. I'm, I'm still looking on 
to, to see if anybody has has elected themselves to have me look at but so far I haven't seen any I don't think people are up yet most people are, are still asleep I think understandably I mean it is a Sunday and I'm insane I or a lot of people might actually be in um, it'd be a church or something yeah, fire chicken is right. Okay. Uh, all right, so this is... This is toad sticker. I don't know what they stick toads with. I don't know if I want to know. Look at that nice cabinet work. That's all by layering. They almost look like drawers that you could pull out. Ooh, ooh, really pretty. I mean, it seems to have wanted to be in there. It could have walked out. So I'm gonna try not to worry about it. This is my favorite section of this house anyway. <clears throat> okay. You're gonna set that on fire. You're a fire hazard, little guy. Why does everybody have the little fire hazard? Wait, wait, what's this? We built pretty far out, it looks like. So this is a barn. These are, okay, so we, we can't get into the barn, can we? Where do we go? Oh, this is how you get into the barn. I'm a dumbass. And here's the stables. Look at the spider webs. Isn't that a nice little touch? I wouldn't have thought of that. This is somebody who's been to a barn before, though, it seems like. <laughs> I don't want to miss a corner. I've been known to do that. Can we get back here? No. So that's the barn portion. This is a field with, okay, so yesterday I told you guys about this. You see, I'll tell you again because some people here are not, we're not here yesterday. You see that, uh, that Halloween scarecrow we get from the Halloween set? He's out there with all the birds flying, flying around him. If you sink him into the ground, you still get the birds, and you don't have to have the scarecrow up. But obviously, in this case, this makes sense. Uh, I think this is probably supposed to be a river. That's probably like either a river or irrigation. And then over here, I'm not sure what's going on. I wonder if there's effects that I don't have. It's entirely possible. All right. Sorry about that, if that's the case. I didn't mean to mess it up for you. If you do have effects, you can always send them to me and I will go back. All right. Next. We has a uh, b -b -b chocolatic ample. So that's a small one too. I can't believe how few people want me to visit their home. Choco, how do you spell this? Choco Lotic. Ah, they messed up. I'll go back later. Trells Lunar. I heard this is amazing. I have not yet seen it, but I've heard it's amazing. Um, where is the link? Maybe people offered here. Nobody said anything. Y'all sm smell. I'm gonna go to some people's houses. 
I'll show you mine again for like 10 seconds because I've shown it so many times before, but some of you haven't seen it, so. Uh, so this is Trail Bent Bones Farm, and then we'll look at my uh, entry for Zoss, which was terrible comparatively. Um, wow, this is, this is a farm? There's a lot of effects. If you're curious, I can tell you what they all are. Come on, something in the dead cat, please. He put something in the dead cat! Pleasing! He put two things in the dead cat. If you're gonna put a dead cat in your house, put something in it, please. Um, it would make me happy. So the paintings are all uh, effects from essential housing tools. And then, uh, let's see, got a little elfie house. More dead people, but not a dead cat, just dead people. This is almost like a, was it one section I was supposed to go to and not this one? Because this seems more like temple-y than farmy. Perhaps he mixed them up because we did have a temple one coming up. I think. And we got a bridge over here. Oh, maybe he's growing mushrooms. I don't know. Do you guys see the guy on PTS who built a house over there? There's a video if you go look for it of a guy touring a house that he built out of bounds uh, on PTS using a cheat. But he only did it on PTS to show, you know, he wasn't really cheating. And he won't do it on live. <clears throat> and uh, I think that it's an, a known bug anyway that he used. But Okay, why not just take the thing off the, I guess it changes the look. Um, and then, but it's really worth seeing because it's kind of amazing to see somebody build over there. Ah, here we go. We've got a sugar farm. All right, we got a sugar farm. And we had a piggy rolling in mud. That's an effect. And a chicken dropping an egg, which is not an effect. That's actually what the chicken does. More of the farming. And we've got a kiln and chopping wood. That's crown only, but it's cheap. That saw, I paid for it. I was like, you know, I want it. It's like 10 cents. I'll get it. But it is annoying that they nickel and dime you. So here's all the food. We'll stuff in the in the whole cubbies. The kitty playing. What's in the cradle? Oh, he broke it up. Interesting. So Trell has broken up the house with just boards. And then this is so this is a sleeping area. You can do this with almost any house that has a wide open space. It does add a feeling of the house is bigger than it actually is, if you're interested in that. And then he built up. Ah, I see he built up. Okay. Got a little eating area. You can build really up high and you can also build far out, pretty far out. So, just so you know, you know, look at that where the house is from here. This house can be, you can build out really far out, which I appreciate greatly. It's one of those things that for people who like to build, it's a gift. And that gives you a nice view of the whole thing, doesn't it? All right, 
I'll show you mine real quick. <clears throat> Most of you have already seen it. I apologize for that. Uh, did I just, did it just say in, it's my own house. Sorry, Eula, Eula, that sucks. Uh, I did a reproduction of the first floor of Bree's home. And uh, I submitted just a, a shot of it because I wasn't going to build something insane. Although, you know, one might argue this was a little insane because I did it like exact. Ah! Okay, hold on. All right, so this is my Breeze home. The, on the only effect in here is the name, but I put a potato on there. That might have been a little bit of a thing. But yeah, anybody who knows Breeze Home pretty well, hopefully you recognize it. I tried to make it exact. And then I submitted a picture of this. And that's okay. And perfectly acceptable. Eventually, I was going to build another floor, but I would have to move it out of this house. Because this only has 200 slots in here. If I'm going to do the second floor, I need more than 200 slots. So I'll just pick the whole thing up and put it somewhere else with EHT. But that was my entry for Zoss. All right, another farm. Oh, you know what? That's true of almost everything under the sun. Do it anyway. Tulians. Oh, moon sugar. Shoot me now. All the moon sugars. All the them. So many people had beautiful entries. I wish... I wish they had told me which ones they did and where, and I'd go visit them. That one, I know where that is. Hopefully Jack will let me in there. All right. <clears throat> This is Tulian's entry to farms. I see they used effects. They've got a vineyard, I think. This looks like a vineyard. And then more vineyard. So this is the modern looking house using effects. Now I wanna point something out that I always point out and you all can just deal with it. See this window effect? It was, that art was hand drawn by Chrysaea. She actually added that because it didn't have it. So she's kind of amazing and I thank her for her abilities and what she's given us in EHT. That, you see that, uh, that railing? That's also an effect. That's really cool. And they used uh, wallpaper. So they've got this dark red wallpaper this is a, wow, this is really well done. Holy shit, excuse my language. So what, these are all effects. What they've done is they've layered. They've taken the wood effect and then they put this over it, this, this parquet inset. I don't know how they did it, honestly. I've never been able to layer on that ability that's tremendous. I mean, really, 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 really nice. Good use. They have plates up here, our effects, and a lovely kitchen with a great view. Got a sink full of a pan cook. You know your pan's gonna rust if you don't take it out of there. Just saying. Uh, display case helps it look like a fridge or a whatever. 
That's some art you can add from EHT. Oh, those very realistic look looking uh, stained glass windows are also EHT, and I find them to be one of the more realistic items that exist in EHT. So if you're going in that direction, I would say use it. Wow, what on earth did she make this out of? Did they make it out of? I don't think Tully and is she, I don't know for sure. What is that? That's gotta be the background of some, I don't know what that is the background to, but that's cool looking. Uh, another great way to keep items down, item countdown, see the books. It's a great way to fill your bookcases without actually filling your bookcases and using up your items. Here's the greenhouse. Yo, that sounds like a good idea, Maldrin. And she's got, they've got nice little touches up here too. It's a little jacuzzi, I guess. Second floor, more wood floors, which look really great. You can almost smell the pine or the boards, you know? better view of the stained glass. And uh, some stairs up. I wonder what she actually made those out of. Oh, just the uh, elsewhere panel. And then you've got a bathroom using a cobble or a sink, the brazier of frozen flame. And then this is just a fax, this I don't know if I'd want to bathe in a sarcophagus, but hey, you know, it works. Bedroom. Okay, so that's one of the more realistic looking libraries, too. I feel like Fizez likes pictures, and that's why he lives there. Now, this is an effect, so... What you can do with EHT is you can place any book in the game, and if the person has read it, uh, they'll be able to read the game, the book, just by clicking on it. If they haven't read it, it'll say it's blank. Um, but you can add, select any book in the game and place it. Sometimes the titles alone are, are, are really enough to set the mood. Like I have an orc orcs and their tusks as one of my books in uh my orc house so i mean it's it's something you can do this isn't even all of it there's another house i see outside so this is amazing that this has all of this just want to make sure that this side isn't different and i'm not these are also stained glass oh wow it is different holy shit! so Songs of the Return, Volume 5. I've read it so you can see it. Uh, Noxophilic Sanguivoria. Somebody's a vampire. Perhaps. Perhaps. And here's the bedroom. Those are also wallpaper effects. Nice little standing lamp there. Wow, it's amazing. There's so much to this house. No wonder they're maxed on spots. And here's the kitchen, which we looked at. Okay, back out. There's another house, I think. First of all, I'm gonna close this and put the lights on. I assume that's how they want it. Okay, or am I high? Was there no other house? Was that it? Um, they've got the farm here. There was something else. I knew it. I knew I saw something. This might just be stables. Just. After seeing that house, nothing is just. Oh, here's where they make the wine. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. And then hedges to block you off. And even the, from the outside, those windows look phenomenal. A little bit of a patio sticking out here beautiful 
beautiful. Okay, uh, we're almost done. We're almost done. I'm gonna get the next one of farms. Why is this being stupid? Uh, in my Forsaken we've seen, so Arion's is the last, and that's probably good because Arion's flipping amazing. Um, I never know how to spell her name. I think it's two R's. 26? Uh, no, I spelled that wrong. Oh, we're, we were all noobs once. The best thing about it is just try, you know, just do your best. And, and we'll all, all grow and learn and it's, you know, every time I see something new, I, Brett Strident is like, I hate the house, but I love the garden. Um, I'm, I'm, as I've viewed more houses more and more and more, uh, I just got more and more like picky about it. Yeah, that is a nice, decent size one. Oh my goodness, what's going on? Ariane is always impressive as hell. So she's re landscaped here. That's one of those uh, rocks from the Lux vendor they had. I don't know if those are coming back or when they'd come back, but. And we've got. That poor Nick's ad. Although I bet Azabi has them captured for a reason. Look at you, Azabi, eating all the moonshare. Shouldn't be doing that. You are a bad kitty. Hear me? Bad kitty. Good thing my cats didn't hear that, or they might think I was talking to them. It's. That front section annoys the hell out of me. Um, those four poles kind of break up everything. It really irritates me. But what is? Oh, it's the it's the ball of the of roots. Yeah, I don't let that bo bother me because that one has a nice garden too. And it's not as dark and dismal as say you know. Falothi Reverie, which is dark and dismal. They are evil, I know. They're little jerks. They are fey. And fey folk are often jerkus mundus. Yeah, I think I think Domus has a lot of potential. It's oh another apple uh, orchard. Ooh, what's going on here? What is this walkway? This must be gorgeous at night with the wedding lanterns floating and the blue lighting. That's that azure thing again, the azure light. Huh, is this like a meditation path? There's something in there. We can check it out on the way back. These are all made with uh, items you can buy in Alinor, these, these coral shelves. And here's gazebo. What's underwater? She buried something underwater that I can't quite tell what it is. It looks like the Renata, but I can't tell for sure. No, it's, uh, it is the, the, the thingy. Oh, great. Thanks. <sighs> there we go. First death of the stream. Probably not the last. <laughs> Ariane's usually so nice. I don't think she intended for me to do that. That was my own stupidity. Um. Statuary. Actually, there's not anything in there. That's just a flower. All right. I don't know. Was it? Or was it just me being stupid? That's true. It's my own doom. 
Not anyone else's, that's for sure. Potato-y, doom. Oh, pretty. Very pretty, all the blue. Nice lighting. Okay, so. No oh, shit, I'm gonna get eated. I almost fell in the water again. So, we've got this neato pathway and towers, so we've got like a whole bunch of temples here. Oh, yes, clearly. And then, a, was this a vineyard? I can't remember if this was a vineyard or not. No, uh, moon sugar, moon sugar and trees, okay. Moon sugar and trees. Maybe they're pulling out the trees so that they can plant more moon sugar. That would be my guess. It looks like it anyway. We've got chickens and goat and pea and horses. Oh, and a blacksmith. Some more crafting stuff. And what's this? Is this just the house house? I think I was in this, wasn't I? No. Kitchen. These are all hand-built structures because there's nothing here in Moon Sugar. This is all handmade. I feel like the kitty is peeing. And I am a terrible person for thinking that. <laughs> Gorgeous view. Great placement. <clears throat> Oh, the erstwhile? Yeah. Erstwhile is nice. I am I am fascinated by the erstwhile, but I just don't... I don't want to give them any more money, <laughs> to be honest with you. So that was it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close on showing my, once more, my Proud Spire, because... Um, why is he doing that with my own? Oh, because I'm hitting the wrong button. Uh, once more, because the train did not go off the way I wanted it to yesterday. So just to end it, I'm going to show you the train the way it's supposed to go off um, for the contest. I was a little disappointed that I had that problem, but I did crash. Yeah, there's some really amazing things you can do with erstwhile. Uh, if you ever want ideas, you can always go look at uh, the forums and just search for erstwhile and in my in the housing guild. I mean in the housing section. And that's good because all of my past stuff is there. so it should it should all show up with all the different examples or anything. All right. So this was supposed to look like this not like whatever weird janky ass thing that ended up showing looked um and he was supposed to stand from here which he didn't do although it is i can't jump to save my life uh but here here you go this is this is the train see he doesn't look as janky now I don't know why it looked so stupid, but now it's working right. Now that he's not here. Isn't that great? There you go. That's my train. As, as it should have looked. Oh, and Flimmy, by the way, I think it was you who said that's obviously the blue, the blue palace. Thank you for saying that. I couldn't believe he didn't really recognize Solitude right off the bat. I figured Solitude was the most, the most obvious. Um, yeah, yes, thank you for all the support. All of you guys were amazing. I really appreciate it. So it meant a lot to me. And thank you for all your suggestions and help and everything. And we'll work on the next one together. But for today, I am done. I am beat. And I will be back tomorrow with EU and more houses, okay? More more of these sauce houses. 
So I will catch you all later. Adios.